Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video. And our comparison video is done. 2021 and 2023 Select Cut XP. On the left, we've got the brand new Select Cut XP LM2167 SP with the Speed IQ and the new digital display. And on the right, we've got Brooklyn with the LM2156 SP. And so we are going to go ahead and show you a detailed comparison. There will be no mowing. It is winter. This is informational. All right. But guys, let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Okay, we got a bonus for you guys. We are going to actually include the original Select Cut. All right, we're going to give you information on the Select Cut. The Select Cut XP and the Select Cut XP with Speed IQ. Let's take a look at these three right now, real quick. And there they go. On the left side, we've got the Speed IQ model. In the middle, we've got the XP. And then on the right, we've got the original OG Select Cut. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so I want to make sure you understand that this affects a lot of models. So we have in front of us, obviously, the LM2167 SP on the left, the LM2156 SP in the middle, and the LM2135 SP on the right. But there are sub-models, right? So let's go ahead and bring up a slide so I can actually show you uh, the differences in the different models, all right? So as we start on the top, the latest model comes in two configurations, LM2167 SP, with the 12 amp uh, battery and the charger and then on the right you'll see there it's the lm2160 sp that's going to be the tool only okay i recently put that on the uh on our feed because i found that on sale now in the middle the 2021 model right so that's just the xp with touch drive that starts at the lm2156 sp that's the kit with the 10 amp hour battery and charger now they do make that in the middle there lm2156 sp-2 it comes with two 10 amp, amp hour batteries and then all the way to the right you see the lm2150 sp and that's a tool only now on the bottom is the og model right the original gangster 2020 right now it's not an xp it's just a select cut with touch drive, right? And uh, that's a 2135 SP. It comes with a 7.5 amp hour battery and charger. And then the LM2130 SP is the tool only. We're going to start off with the deck material and the design. And I will tell you as I take my camera out of the holster here, um, it, they're, they're all polycarbonate, so that hasn't changed, right? The material on these decks, they're polycarbonate, so they're lightweight, and people have had them for years, so they've lasted a very long time. The design, really, you know, when you look at the mowers, in general, deck design stayed the same. There's really no difference. Here's your uh, newer model. Here is your current model. Here is your previous model. So really, no difference. I took a very close look. So we're going to start off talking about the motor a little bit, and then we're going to end up with the select cut system. So starting from the 2156 SP, they upped the torque to 8.3 foot-pounds of torque, and the 2167 SP has that as well. The motor also is a stronger motor. This is 1,200 watts, and the same here to my knowledge. Okay, so, you know, when you're thinking about the regular select cut versus the XPs, they do have a little bit more oomph to get through that grass that you're trying to get through. Now, when we talk about blades, just so you'll know, all three of these support the same blades. Now, when the 2135 came out, the blades were black and they didn't include the high lift blade. 
But to my knowledge, if you buy one now, you should be getting the high lift blade in the box. Again, when it launched, it didn't have that, okay? So let's take a look at the blades now that are available on Select Cut. So pre-installed, you get your upper blade, and then the lower blade is your gator blade, your mulching blade. This is really good for cutting up that grass to feed your lawn, right? You're not bagging with this. You're not going to bag with this, this blade, all right? Really, really good. Um, and to me, that's my everyday blade that I use. Now, if I look down here, you've got the high lift blade, and you look at it, and it looks like a fan, right? And that's what it's made to do. It's made to raise the grass clippings up and cut them, right? And, and you're going to bag with this in most cases, okay? Um, some people have uh, re rear side discharge with this also. Uh, it's not going to cut up the grass as good as a mulching blade. So if you do rear side discharge, you're probably going to leave longer grass clippings. This is phenomenal for bagging. It lifts the blades of grass up and cuts them. All right. Now, if you want to extend your battery life, this is the extended runtime blade. And again, this would replace this blade. And, you know, good, you know, light mulching, nothing major. But, you know, it's not going to use as much battery. All right. So this is the extended runtime blade. So all three of these mowers now actually come with these blades. I mean, think about it, you know, you get, you know, four blades in the box. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a moment now and talk about chargers. So the LM2135 SP was the only one that came with a 550 watt charger. It's this guy right here. Now it's got a fuel gauge, right? You know, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And it's, you know, a fast charger. But the newer charger, this 700 watt charger with the new fuel gauge that can also be connected via Wi-Fi to the Ego app, right? Same fuel gauge as the battery comes with the, you know, Select Cut XP and the Select Cut XP with the Speed IQ. Uh, you know, this is about $150 to $175 value. It's a really nice charger. So that's it on the chargers. Now let's talk about batteries. So the 2135 SP, right, the Select Cut, came with a 7.5 amp hour battery in the box. The new X, the, the XP, the 2156 SP, came with a 10 amp hour battery in the box. And now the new Speed IQ Select Cut XP comes with a 12 amp hour battery in the box. Package sells for around $1,000 with this battery. So that's pretty much it on the batteries. Now, concerning LED lights, all of them come with three LED lights on each side, all right? This is the 2135 SP, 2156, and of course, the 2167. So they work well. We did a video on, you know, comparing some lights. We'll put a link in the description and an image up if you want to check that out if you mow at night. So let's talk a little bit about wheels. So there's two things that didn't change about the wheels, right? You get seven inch in the front, you get nine inch in the back. But the new Speed IQ wheels changed. So the design actually changed because they added a new rim. And let me pull out the camera here. So they added a new rim to the wheels. If you look here, you see there's like a rim actually, right? Now, if I look at the previous model, right? This is the 2156 SP. It's different. The design is different. All right, so you've got a different design. You've got a rim highlighting more of that green, right? Obviously, the color, because, you know, you get more of the green here and really just a, a, a small amount of green here, but this is all over the rim. All right, so you've got the color. Now, interestingly enough, this is about a quarter, almost a quarter of an inch wider than the wheels on this model here. So I'm going to pull out a ruler and show you real quick. So you'll see the pattern is different, first of all, and it's in all four wheels. So you see how this pattern goes all the way out and back in? right and this older pattern is just like this so the pattern changed but i want you to see 
just for a moment, the uh, a slight size difference, right? So look at this one here, all right? And then look at this one here. So this one comes out, and I suck with measurements, but it's, it's a little more than one and a half inches. Okay, just a drop more. So you see, you see it's a little, it's just a drop wider. Nothing major, but again, you know our channel, we're about detail. And if we look at the back wheels too, you'll see the size didn't change, I noticed, on the back wheels, but the pattern did. So again, one pattern versus another. So you do get a new pattern there. Now I thought the battery compartment changed a little bit, but it looks like it didn't. So I put a 7.5 amp hour battery in all of these, and realistically, they look about the same. All right, I'll try to get the same view for you. This is the 2135 SP, right? A little bit of room there. 2156 SP. Again, very similar, right? A little bit of room there. And I thought they added more room with this newer 2167 SP, but I don't know. I just, uh, it's really hard to tell. One drastic change that you'll see is the, the wire harness that you see here, right? That goes down, all right? On the 2135 and the 2156 is gone, right? On the new 2167 SP, it's, it's built into the handle. It's got to be, right? So that is uh, another difference there. Concerning the handle, all three handles have three height adjustments that did not change, okay? So that is nothing new on that. Another drastic change is, as you know, in order to collapse the handle, you've got to unlock both latches, right? And, you know, push it all the way down and then lock it in place. Now, another thing that's really important, and they tell you this, is if you don't pull this up all the way, let's say you're lazy and you want to lock one side and this side goes in a little bit, it actually won't start. The motor won't start. But as you could see here on the newer model, the 2167 SP, you now have one latch. That's it. Drop this down. Push your handle down, lock it in place. Love that. All right, the next thing is something that a lot of people want. They want to be able to cut short, all right? And now, with the newer model, you can get down to one inch, they say. Obviously, it's winter, I can't cut, and I never cut honestly one inch, so I'm sorry, you'll never see me do that. But if I just take a ruler, and I kind of put it down here for a minute, right? I, I, I'm, a, and I'm going to angle it a little bit. I am a just, just a little higher than a half an inch on the deck itself. All right. So I'm trying to show you as much as I can. Now, you'll see here, and I'll do it with a ruler and I'll do it without, that this is basically about a half an inch as far as the deck is concerned and then the blades obviously right around that area right in order to get one inch it needs to be at least obviously in that one inch range right the blade should be right here which is where the one inch mark is all right so if i look at this from a different angle right and we just look at this as much as we possibly can to see how low that is and then we go over to this side and do the very similar thing you, you know I do see that it's slightly higher all right so that's something that we're looking forward to for folks that do cut their lawn really short I don't now don't forget the select cut series really has seven positions right six seven but this new model now has that eight and that's supposedly how they're actually able to get down to one inch because eight is four inches. Okay, so we'll find out. I think people will find out, but eight positions here, seven positions here. Let's take a moment now and go over controls. So you'll see the 2135 and the 2156 have the same controls, right? Uh, Self-propel, you've got touch drive, right? 
off on starting the mower same thing right push the button in pull the lever you've got your controls here for your light okay so you can turn your light on and off so these two are pretty much the same other than a stronger motor and more torque right but when we go over to the new speed iq model well this changes things now yeah you got the same starting system push the button in pull the lever but as you can see here, you now have a control panel that gives you more options and a couple of buttons down here. So, self propel is now off, and if I hit the button, it'll go into auto mode, and it'll use this, you know, speed IQ sense system that's built into the bar. Now, I did do uh, a video on that. Um, I did a couple, and I will put links in the description but I'm not able to do a lot because it's winter time, okay? And I will tell you that the touch drive system, right? You just hit, you know, left side, right side, and it'll just go, right? From my research so far, Speed IQ seems to be a combination of the sense, and I believe the blade needs to be spinning and it needs to feel some resistance. I'm not 100% on that, but because it's winter, the ground is frozen and bumpy, I can't do a demo at all, okay? But spring's coming, I will have something coming for you. Now, as you can see, we're going to turn off, uh, you know, self-propel. You've got your light button here, and then here is the thing that's very exciting. You now have options for turbo, normal, and eco. And that is phenomenal. So we've always wanted a turbo button. We now have it. But if you want to save even more battery, you would go down to the eco mode. Now I'm going to put an image up on the left side of the screen because if you want to know a little bit more about this, check out our initial video. And I'll put a link in the description as well. Okay. And by the way, if you, if you uh, search at TechMadeEasy with E-Z-Y, you'll find a lot of our videos on YouTube. But guys... This is huge, and control-wise, this is a big difference compared to the 2156 and the 2135. So we're coming to the end, and just know that these are all three-in-one systems, right? That means that they bag, they mulch, and they also rear side discharge. So there's your bag. This is your mulch plug kind of goes right in this way and then you know and then this is your rear side discharge and it actually goes right in the back of the mower uh, towards the uh, back uh, right wheel and it will shoot out the grass okay so they are all three in one mowers let's take a moment and talk about weight and let me just tell you as technology gets added to these mowers they do get heavier we're gonna start off with the 2135 SP and that is 55.3 pounds or 25.08 kilogram. Now when we go to the 56 SP, that is 55.56 pounds or 25.20 kilograms. And finally, the new Speed IQ model is 59 pounds. And these are all without batteries, by the way. 59 pounds or 26.76 kilograms. Now let's talk about warranties. The 2135 SP has a five year warranty on the mower and a three year warranty on the battery and the charger because it comes with a 7.5 amp hour battery. Now as you get to the 56 SP, well that came with a 10 amp hour battery. So five year on the mower, five year on the 10 amp hour battery as long as you register it and then a three-year warranty on the charger as you move to the 2167 sp this has a five-year warranty on the mower a five-year warranty on the 12 amp hour battery again you have to register it to get that warranty and a three-year warranty on the charger so not bad i mean you know as long as you register the warranty on these two you will get that five-year warranty well, guys, thank you so much for your time. 
I really hope this video helped you in some way. We're definitely looking forward to spring and summer. So we can actually use the new mower, check out that Speed IQ, turn on the turbo, and have fun. So guys, if you liked the video and it helped you in any way, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And thank you so much for those that do that. If you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We would love to have you as a family member. Share our video as well and your, with your friends, your families, and in chat rooms. And by the way, follow us on social media at Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Guys, thanks so much. Have a great day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.